Hi everybody, it's June, June Angel Pews. Oh, right, sorry I haven't been around again, but you know how sort of life has taken over me at the moment. Um, Health-wise I'm a lot better, thank you very much. Um, things aren't as they used to be, but you know, you get used to that, don't you? Um, there's progress with my decluttering <laughs> in as much as now it's been formally approved that um, a, a housing association that's based here in Coventry is going to um, help me de-stash, de-clutter, <laughs> um, in the short term move my um, bed no, that's telling a fib. I'm not moving my bed. I'm getting rid of my big double bed in my bedroom. And I'm going to have a clear out, or they're going to clear out my lounge of knick-knack furniture, as I call it. You know, my dresser and oh, with all the ornaments. Um, that's going to charity, not the ornaments, the, the furniture. Uh, one of the chairs is going, my table and chairs, which I don't use, only for doing my YouTube videos, which of course I can find something else to do then. <laughs> They're all going. And then at least, for, as I say, for the short term, for the winter, because my bedroom is so cold and damp, um, I'm having a new all singing, all dancing single bed. <laughs> All singing, all dancing is it uh, moves up and down by, you know, remote control. It massages you and, oh, wonderful, amazing. So that'll be wonderful. Um, so it's to make this into a mini bed sit, I suppose. And then following that, I'm hoping by um, next spring, perhaps earlier, perhaps later, I'll have more news for you on the next stage of my um, <laughs> the next stage of my life, I suppose you'd call it. Okay, so um, I'll come back with more about what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. But at the moment, I just wanted to. I started off by wanting to show you. Um, you know, when we, we get anything special, when we buy it, etc., um, whether we're given it or whether we've been to get a haul, we show you what we've got. Well, I wanted to show you this, these, sorry. Um, and I know you will know exactly who, the, who made these before I say it, um, because I'm sure you're all as delighted with her art, and that's what it is, as... I am. And these are some ballet shoes that I purchased from my lovely friend Margaret. Margaret is on... Hi Margaret! She's on YouTube and Facebook, but YouTube um, is, let me think, number... Th so 7 Mrs T. So that's 7 M R S T. <laughs> Oh, how could that noise out there? Children. Um, yes, so, as I say, you know, I'd, I'd seen these, I'd seen a previous pair that had been sold, um, but as soon as I saw these on the um, DVD that she did, DVD? Video that she did, um, I fell in love with them, and then when I saw them for sale in her shop, I got to have them. So, because, um, uh, sorry, because Margaret doesn't normally send to the ship to the the uh, UK because of these horrific shipping costs, I guess. And I think probably it's a bit more trouble for her as well. So I thank her very much for doing this because that's what I asked the next question was, can I buy them? Would she be good enough to send them to the UK? And yes, she did. So I'm absolutely delighted. So when I got this out ready, I thought, oh, now that's given me an idea. I just thought I'd show you a few things that I've got that are ballet themed because you probably all know how I love, I mean, just obsessed 
with ballet. I was going to see it at Birmingham Hippodrome, um, reading as much as I can about it, um, which reminds me, in case I forget, I'm doing some... The ballet shoes, which I'll show you in a second properly, are freed, uh, freed studio ballet shoes, and they're a, a, a specialised um, UK firm. So I'm researching them at the moment, so I'll um, have something to show you at another point about about them, because they do videos and all sorts. Is my chimer going? It's quarter to three on Sunday afternoon. Is it quarter to three? No, it's quarter to four. You see, my clock is still at the old time. And as we're due to put them back, is it next month? October, isn't it, I think. Um, I'm going to leave it just as it is. <laughs> it was too heavy, my clock on the wall, too heavy and too delicate for me to bring down, so I've just left it as it was. OK, back to the ballet shoe, uh, to the ballet theme. So I thought, right, I'm going to put together, just quickly, because I've got loads more, but in different places within the flat and up in my loft and what have you. I'll put together a few things that um, people have made for me and that I've sort of collected um, because of this love of ballet. So let's show you these shoes first. The ballet pumps, ballet shoes, whatever, ballet slippers, whatever you care to call them. By the way, they're sitting on this book of uh, ballet photographs. And this is from the Birmingham Royal Ballet. This is where I go to, to see all the beautiful productions that I do. Not too far from me, a, a short um, train journey. Um, I'll actually put the link um, in the description, if I can try and remember, because I think you'll be interested to see um, the ballets that I've seen and the ballets that I'm going to see. I'm booked up right until September of next year, of 2017. I'm going to my first opera there as well. Excited about that, doing lots of uh, research into that because I don't know how, I don't know what I'll be like with opera, no idea. But of course, I used to say the same with ballet. I used to say, you know, that um, no, ballet wasn't for me, thank you. I would managed, what had I managed, 62 years, 64 years, something like that, without ballet, and I'm sure I could manage further. Um, but I'll quickly tell you that how I got into uh, ballet, um, and it is quick. There was lots of publicity about um, a musical, uh, sorry, a dance production called Swan Lake, as in um, the choreographer was a person called Matthew Bourne. I'm sure everybody's heard of this, but I'll, I'll tell you anyway. Um, and the signets in Swan Lake were played by men, which I thought was very unusual. I'd already been going to um, the Hippodrome and to our local theatre in Coventry to see musicals generally um, and plays. So when I saw this was advertised, that it, it was uh, finishing its world tour, I believe, it's done a few world tours, marvellously receptive. Um, received it was coming to Birmingham I thought